name is Lizzie Herrera, Program Associate in the Horticulture Department at the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. And today, I want to talk to you about Arkansas's first horticulture discovery farm. But before I do, you may be asking yourself, what exactly is a discovery farm? Well, a discovery farm is a privately owned farm in which demonstrations and research regarding the environmental impact of agricultural production is conducted. The goal of the Arkansas Discovery Farms program is to determine the effectiveness of water and soil conservation practices utilized on working farms. For specialty crop growers, irrigation management can be difficult, but is extremely important as it has a direct impact on the volume and quality of the fruit produced. Horticulture crop producers frequently struggle with efficiently managing irrigation, often under or over irrigating. This in part is due to the lack of current research-based recommendations on irrigating specialty crops in Arkansas. Additionally, growers must keep in mind the quality of their irrigation water, as it must be compliant with federal food and safety regulations under the Food Safety Modernization Act, otherwise known as FSMA. In order to address these unique challenges, we established Arkansas's first horticulture discovery farm, with support from the Arkansas Department of Agriculture. Our goal is to better understand water use and demand in an Arkansas peach orchard, develop better irrigation practices for specialty crops, and provide specialty crop growers with an on-farm demonstration of these practices. The Horticulture Discovery Farm Project is led by Horticulture Extension Specialist Dr. Amanda McWirt in collaboration with the Arkansas Discovery Farm Program lead, Dr. Mike Daniels and his team. We partnered with Steve and Mark Morgan owners and operators of Peach Pick and Paradise, located in Johnson County, Arkansas. My name is Mark Morgan, uh, Peach Pick and Paradise. I uh, farm with my dad, Steve, here in Johnson County. We've got peaches, nectarines. We uh, primarily are you pick. We do uh, pick for some people, about 22 varieties of uh, free stones uh, and clings and uh, nectarines as well. The Morgan family has been farming peaches since the 1920s and are well respected in their community and across the state. This made them ideal candidates for hosting a specialty crop discovery farm. Additionally, because their operation involves both cattle and fresh market specialty crops, they are keenly aware of federal FSMA rules about water testing for potential human pathogens due to the possibility of livestock being a source of these pathogens. One of the key areas we're monitoring at Peach Pick and Paradise is the irrigation water quality. To ensure the farm is compliant with federal food safety regulations under FSMA, we regularly collect samples from the Morgan's water sources and send them to the Water Quality Lab at the Arkansas Water Resources Center located in Fayetteville, Arkansas. As far as the water testing goes, you know, we've, we've never really been GAP certified because we, we sell more local here, but you know, with FSMA, uh, food safety is important to us. Doing the regular samples has really given us a baseline uh, of what we can expect and do, and, and that way, not only are we you know, abiding by all the, the laws and mandates and stuff like that, but we're just doing what's right for our customers, and that's something that's important to us, to always uh, you know, be doing the right thing as far as food safety. The other key area we're assessing is irrigation scheduling. Two soil moisture sensors were installed in both newly planted and established peach trees, which allows us to monitor and record water application patterns and scheduling. The soil moisture sensors allow us to track water infiltration throughout the soil up to 36 inches deep. The sensors also include a weather station that collects data such as temperature, wind speed, humidity, and rainfall. My, my favorite thing about the sensor is, you know, right here. Uh, you know, everything's on the phone these days. I can log in, you know, I don't have to be here. I can log in and see, well, how are we doing? Uh, weather station lets us know how much rain we've got. Uh, you know, it lets you know your temperature as well. But it, it's been interesting to see. I, I can check my app and see, you know, is it, are, are we too wet? Are we too dry? It's really been beneficial. Uh, you know, the way we used to do it is, you know, well, we got a rain, we're going to be good for a while. Uh, but, you know, it really lets you know that, uh, you know, however much rain you get, uh, sometimes depending on the time of year, what your soil moisture was, you need to be running it. And that all comes from that app. It's uh, super easy to look at. And, you know, it uses color meters, which uh, I enjoy, you know, it's not too scientific. If it's red or orange, you need to be watering. If it's blue, you're pretty wet. So uh, it's been pretty simple for us. We also collect plant tissue nutrient samples from the trees being monitored to see how improved irrigation patterns might impact nutrient uptake by the trees. 
Irrigation is not only important during crop production, but also after the crop is harvested, as the plants are already beginning to set buds for the next year during late summer and fall. In the two years since we've had the sensors, the irrigation sensors, what we were really looking for is, you know, we, we could see the trees, especially with a crop load, and see, you know, hey, that tree looks like it needs water. Uh, you know, what, what we were wondering, are we putting out enough water, are we putting out, you know, too much? Uh, and really after the trees are cropped, we're usually done in August, a lot of times September and even early October can be our drier parts of the year. So we wanted to adequately supply enough water, uh, you know, for bud set, but you know, not put too much on because then we'd just be having to prune it off. By training Mark and Steve Morgan in the use of soil moisture sensors, we hope to help them better the timing and efficiency of their irrigation program. What we've learned is we were probably walking away a little too quick, you know. In August, whenever we harvested, uh, and sometimes we go into September, but you know, when you're done with harvest, it's really easy to walk away, and really that tree was calling for water. And so we, uh, we've we definitely applied more in the fall. We may have been applying a little bit too early in June, uh, you know, in a wet June, but uh, it, it's really been advantageous to see on, on into the fall after that crop's gone, uh, you know, we have so much disease pressure as it is with other things, we don't want drought stress to be an added pressure. As we learn alongside the Morgans, we hope to use the Horticulture Discovery Farm as a grower-to-grower -grower training model to teach other growers how to improve the efficiency of their irrigation based on our research. As far as collaboration going with, you know, the Extension Service, the Discovery Farm program, uh, it's really been beneficial to us. Uh, you know, it, it's, it, we're going to manage our farm the way we typically manage. And as far as the data collection, the Extension Service has been, you know, phenomenal. They, they've been coming out and helping us with the water samples, really doing most all the work. As far as, you know, the sensors and things, those are tools that were installed that I can use. You know, we're making, we, you know, we used them as soon as we got them, that we're making management decisions to, uh, to come in. And uh, the, the staff has been great. Uh, the, you know, they, everything is, uh, even in a pandemic year, uh, you know, we were able to work through uh, some challenges and uh, it's been a really positive experience for us. Discovery Farms have shown to be successful across the state of Arkansas, allowing researchers to demonstrate effective research-based recommendations in an on-farm setting. With the data collected from this project, we aim to develop much needed irrigation recommendations for specialty crop growers across the southeast and improve irrigation conservation practices for specialty crops in Arkansas. Be sure to follow the Arkansas Fruit, Vegetable, and Nut blog to receive updates on the Horticulture Discovery Farm and other timely updates regarding horticulture production in Arkansas. Thanks so much for watching!